Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to more Mountain Blade Warband. Prophecy of Pender, version 3.8.4. I'm Liz, and we're at Castle Fenbray. Uh, we are a Lord of Sarleons, and we are besieging the castle for the most part. It's under siege. We will join in on the battle here, get some kills, get some renown, get some awesome uh, schmooze value with all of these other Sarleon lords, and then I think we are going to go consider joining the Knights of the Lion and doing some work for them. I believe they have a chapter at Sarleon, if I'm not mistaken. Reason being, they are a nice heavy cavalry order, uh, well built for that purpose. Last time we fought a Ravenstern Lord. Let's see how long it takes for this. Do I have food? Yeah, I got plenty of food, okay. Let's see how long it takes for this uh, siege to happen. Bacchus Empire, Dashar, Dashar, Bacchus Empire. Any prisoners here? Oh, well, there's other prisoners, but not the kinds that we really care about. Taken prisoner by Sarleon. Okay, so we took a uh, Ravenstern Lord prisoner. I, of course, do not want to take many prisoners myself. I want to release lords for the most part to gain honor and uh, schmooze value with the lords. Uh, are they breaking? No, they're not breaking. Come on. Where's the friggin' siege? Looks like the king just left, so there's only a few of us here now. They'll be gathering for a he feast at Highcliff Castle. They're not even going to gather at his, um, his, uh, hall in Sarleon. They're going to gather at Highcliff Castle. Where the hell is Highcliff Castle? That would be... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Huh? That's Herringoff. Highcliff Castle. Pshh, right in the middle of my freaking screen. So, you know, we're in the middle of a siege, but no, everybody, let's come have a feast at Highcliff instead. I might do that. Oh, who is this? This is not a lord that they're fighting. It's just a caravan. Yep, caravan. Don't care. Oh, fuck. You know what? We're, we're going to leave, and we're going to go to this feast, and then we're going to try and come back to Castle Fembray. <laughs> we're going to go to the feast for schmooze value. Although, actually, it's the um, it's the king who's holding the feast, so the schmooze isn't as good. We don't really care if... Okay, yeah, no, they're, um, they're going to be pretty easy to take on. In fact, we're going we're gonna to attack them, because we can. Uh, of course, and now my steward sends an urgent message. I will return shortly. I'm riding down some bandits, then I'm going to go schmooze, and then I'll go uh, help you out. Is over, I'm going to desecrate your body, then I'm going to drink with your skull. This is why it's good to get your uh, steward leveled up, so that he can make decisions on his own and not have to fucking ask you for everything. Oh. Eat strange saber, asshole. Strange ebony saber. This is the first video of this play session for me. It's a new night. I went to bed after the last video. It was like 3 in the morning or some shit like that. I was very, very tired. So we are absolutely not warmed up, but uh, we'll see how things go. We won that one pretty handily. There's only two really uh, nasty enemies in there, the two Bear Claw Berserkers, and we uh, we took them out pretty easily. We're not going to... Actually, no. No, we're not going to free either of those guys. What's in the item pool? Uh, excuse me, that's not even worth very much. We are going to take it, though, because we can sell it. Uh, Highcliff. Let's make for Highcliff and continue leveling up our people. We have another hero adventurer now. Holy shit. Sarleon Squire, Bacchus Squire, Ravenstern Squire. That's three new adventurers as well. Uh, that one's going to become a squire. Wisa good, and our level up is a little ways away still. Okay. Uh, heretic armies, that's fine. Who are these? Secular knights, Lady Valkyries. That's the Feared's Vein. We don't really care about the Feared's Vein. They're okay. They're allowed to exist. So who's at Highcliff? A lot are at Highcliff. Okay, let's join the feast. It's schmoozing time, ladies and gents. We don't really care about schmoozing with, um... The halberdier looks pretty good. This halberdier looks kind of shitty. Uh, we don't really care about schmoozing so much with the king because the king can never join your faction. The king is always stuck uh, 
in his own kingdom. We want these other people to join our faction. I must beg my leave. I haven't fought with any of you guys. Actually, I might have fought in battle with some of you before. It's possible. Doesn't look like it. I have fought in one battle with these guys before. Enricata, Lady Enricata, you're the one that we've been wooing in a sense, right? I have I haven't actually declared myself your most ardent admirer, but I think I've declared a tournament victory to you. Enricata, I have to remember this. Uh, I must beg my leave. And uh, I have not met you yet, Sedosa, Lady Sedosa. May I know more about you? Your daughter to Baron Caderin, sister to Lord Montawar, daughter to Lady Magar or Magar. You're here for the feast. Very well. And Lady Magar, hey, how's it going? I was just talking to talking to her here. You are wife to Baron Cater and mother to Lord Montawar, mother to Lady Sedoza. I am here for the feast. Yes, very well. How can I win your favor? Ha ha ha. Nope. Nope, not gonna happen. Um Okay. That's going to be about it for this. There was no schmoozing to be had there. The king isn't even freaking here. So let's uh, let's go to our fife real quick. Our holding, because we're relatively close to it. We'll see what our steward needs. He's going to need more advice on some stupid matter that he should be able to deal with himself. And then we will head up to the castle. Uh, meet with the village elder. Yes, well met. What can I I'm do glad you me? arrived so quickly. Shut up and tell me what the matter is. Wolves, sir! We're besieged by an enormous pack of raven ravening wolves! Ah. Once again, if you're overrun by bandits, come to me. If the population is taking up arms and, like, fighting each other, come to me. You, you have a wolf problem. Okay, you know what? No. No, this this is the kind of thing that you would come to a lord about. I'm I'm wrong. If you were a relatively small village and you didn't have the means to like raise a militia for yourself, yes, you would come to the lord. Like, there are some villages where the lord would be the only person under arms, um, basically. So yes, I, I can understand this. Uh, we have plenty of hunters here. Send them out and kill the wolves. Take a hundred dinars, hire some extra hunters, and eliminate the pack. Take four hundred dinars, ask advice of the local witch, and follow it. Here are one hundred dinars for bait. Now take the militia and trap the beasts. Hmm. Should we use bait? I'm thinking, well, I, I feel like sending the hunters out is the correct thing to do, but if we can use the militia for it instead. We have plenty of hunters here. My relations improved from 8 to 13. Very good. So that's uh, five more. That's very nice. If I did want to recruit volunteers here, no one wants to join me. Funny. I don't want to recruit volunteers from here, so it doesn't really matter to me, but uh, it's interesting that nobody wants to join me anyway. Uh, they are not done building whatever I told them to build. It was going to take like 20-something days or something. Maybe not. It was going to take a significant amount of time, even if it wasn't huge. So let's head up here. Let's get to Castle Fenbrae, see if we can join the siege. We are so much faster than Duke Alomar, but we have uh, so fewer units as well, so that sort of makes sense. Can we join in on this siege? Castle Fenbrae is no longer under siege. I probably could have checked that from further away. Hmm. Small bands of enemies near Avendor. That means they could be close to my holding. Let's uh, let's head south a little bit. He's gonna loot Fenbrae again. That's great. Well, I'm not looting. I'm. Ooh, Duke Brennus. We haven't met you yet, and you don't like us very much. Don't annoy me and we'll get along, but you are the reason that I can't buy property in Avendor, so... Do you have any tasks for me? Yeah, thank you, Alyssa. Uh, no lord should have to admit this, but you're inspecting your soldiers. Will you train- no. No, 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 no. I, I will do many other things, but I will not train troops for the lord. Uh, in vanilla, training troops for the Lord gets you good rep with them and all that kind of stuff, but you lose some really elite soldiers. But luckily, there's only like one troop line that you have to worry about in vanilla. 
in uh, Prophecy of Pandora, though. I don't want to get into a Starleon troop line right now just to have to uh, get rid of them, basically. It, it's too much effort. It's, it's too much. Avendor, while I'm here, let's take a look at the tavern, see if we can recruit anybody or get some awesome rumors. Maiden Scouts. Okay, were Maiden Scouts foot soldiers? Whoa. What do we have or here? are scouts high enough? I feel like we just hired some maidens recently, and then I released them right away. Okay, it's only 224, so I'm going to hire you. If you're cavalry, you will stay. If you upgrade into cavalry, I think I'm going to get rid of you, though. Any rumors? Uh, nothing worth anything. Okay. Um, let's leave real quick. Oh, let's check the mines. Where are the mines? Are they down here? Yeah, okay, so the mines of Alaziz are down here. The mines can spawn down here, they can spawn near Sayas, I think, up in this area, and they can spawn in the Jatu Plains. This is a relatively easy place to get to. When they spawn in the Jatu Plains, they can be really tough, because uh, you have to get through a bunch of Jatu to get to them, you know? that That's a thing. Uh, soldiers in our party, Maiden Scouts, you are not mounted. I think Maiden Warders are, or if Maiden Warders aren't, the next ones after them are. Anyway, Maiden Scouts, I'm sorry, I just hired you, but now I'm going to disband you, because you're not mounted. Uh, I'm only taking mounted troops with me for the time being. I need to stay quick on the battlefield, and quick on the strategic map as well. There were some enemies near here. We caught some enemies in the neighborhood. Let's see if we can find them. Who, who is this? Three Seers Patrol versus a Militia Patrol. Let's go help those Militia. Actually, the Lord is going to help them. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, charge the enemy. We might get some rep with the Lord because we're fighting with him. Uh, looks like he's just going to charge right in, so let's get my guys charging right in there too and support him. would be nice to get our people up above this river before we have to engage them so that we can engage them on dry land. This might seem silly, but in all honesty, in Mountain Blade, this is the best way to not get your soldiers killed, is to have them, you know, engage quickly. Not necessarily charge headlong into the fray, but to, to get in there. <laughs> Didn't we get our saber from an army like this too? Or was it Snake Cult, not Heretics? Yeah, maybe it was Snake Cult, but this is a Snake Cult Archer, isn't it? This isn't a Heretic. There were some other Heretics on the ground, though. Maybe they are. Maybe they're Witches. Yeah, these are like Witches, so maybe they are Heretics. Oh, shit. Uh, was our horse lamed? No, it doesn't look like our horse was lamed. That was shitty, though. Holy crap. That's why getting an armored horse might be good for us in the future. Hey, you. <laughs> Suck it. See your favorite one shot to the head with this ev strange ebony saber. Anybody, uh, anybody knocked off their horse that I can... Yeah, there's a horse, but it's really far away. And this battle's basically over already. Good job, everybody who wasn't me. <laughs> well, I killed two things. Whatever. Uh, Leslie was wounded. That's the only casualty we took. That's fair enough, and, you know, my horse. It was fortunate to have you nearby. Let's talk to... Oh, this was Lord Fossard. Let's talk to him. We fought in battle with him, which means uh, he never got any mood uh, bonus with us because of that. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, our courser was not lamed, so that's fine. We're doing great. Hmm. We've got a couple options here, but it's kind of shitty. You know what, since that siege is not going on anymore, let's head down to Sarleon. Watch, there's probably like a Knight of the Lion uh, group in Avondor. I don't actually know. Oh, we ran into Knights of the Ebony Gauntlet. That's silly. I thought they were red. I thought they were like Knights of the Lion on the map or something. We have 50 against their 21. I have adventures and hero adventures. We should be able to take these guys. Um, we are going to stay here, though, and just hold ranks back here. Reason being, we have adventures and hero adventures, and they happen to be archers. So yeah, uh, 
everybody hold this position and just line yourselves up and our adventures and hero adventures will pepper them and get some kills and we'll let them cross the uh, cross the river and then once they've crossed the river we'll charge in although they don't look like they're crossing the river do they indeed they do not and our dudes haven't actually killed anything yet Hold this position instead, then. Move up a little bit. Okay, well, I'm going to go for an assassination, then. I'm going to cross the water. Who's the commander of this group? I don't actually see a commander. I'm going to come through and kill one of them. Yep, that, that set things off. Okay, there we go. They don't like me. Lord Radu kills one of them, and now they just go charging. Which is fine. Keep our shield up. Horse took some damage. That's okay. It is actually painful, because these uh, crossbowmen that they have could be really, 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 really annoying. Okay, and now they will be crossing the river by the time anything comes, so let's charge. I'm amazed that our adventures and hero adventures haven't killed any with their bows and crossbows yet. That's really surprising. Like, these are tough guys that we were fighting. These are Order Knights, and they're actually a relatively effective Order Knight. But, uh, ooh, they knocked out an adventure. My goal here is not to get experience for myself, it's to get experience for my soldiers. So, I'm gonna let them do most of the killing. But, uh, I'm a little bit concerned about them. Did we get unhorsed up here? No, we didn't get unhorsed, he actually came off of his horse. Adventure knocked out, Leslie knocked out. It's a good thing we've got some surgery going on, otherwise these people may have been killed. How many are left? Three. Two, one, that's it. Lethaldra got the final kill, very good. And yeah, we had two adventurers wounded, so we're gonna need to recover them pretty quickly. Highwayman is cavalry. Rogue Blackheart Knight, you know what? Yes, I will hire on a Rogue Blackheart Knight and two Rogue Blackheart Squires. Um, <clears throat> do I want to hire on a Highwayman? Yes, I will hire on a Highwayman. Or will I? Highwaymen don't upgrade at all, so no, we will not hire on that Highwayman. Okay, done. Access the item pool, anything of value. Red plate mail harness with cape. That is interesting. If I didn't have this other suit already, that would be pretty nice looking. Uh, battered black steel. I have a plus seven black steel. Old black steel already, so that's going to be better. These are not heraldic, so I am not interested in them. But they're worth a little smidgen of money, so I'll take them and sell them. Not actually worth a lot of money, though. Okay, some soldiers are ready to upgrade. Who is that going to be? That's going to be an adventure. Congrats on becoming a hero adventure, a squire. And that's it. So this knight, we're going to move up to under the adventurers, as these squires, we're also going to move up to under the adventurers. Actually, underneath the knight as well. Okay. So... We can go looking for trouble, we can go trying to join a knighthood order. We're going to go for the knighthood order, see if we can do it. They have some interesting quests. They can send you to kill bandits or different uh, like enemy order knight groups and all that kind of thing, which we can actually do now. I have sufficient forces to do that. As you just saw, we killed an order knight group, one that actually sought us out. Um, they can also uh, send you to win tournaments or do various other things for them. And eventually, when you get enough rep with them, you can actually take their forces out and command their forces to do all kinds of crazy things and cool shit, and it, it, it can be awesome, guys. It can be awesome. So they're near Talon Castle, means they're up here. They're near Marleons. So they are on the east side. Let, let's uh, talk to the Knights of the Lion first, and then we'll go from there. I do want to engage Ravenstern a bit, if possible. Uh, so that's going to be... Let's check the tavern first. See what they got going on here. 
Borgie the Fat, Sarah the Fox, Borgie the Fat. Uh, any rumors? What is it? Barclay Lancers. Hmm. Maybe. Is it worth getting Barclay Lancers now? No. Uh, and I want to sell all my prisoners as well. That's 60, 60 dinars. You are wearing Anson's outfit, but you're actually Ashton the Wanderer. Okay. I was a little concerned there for a moment. Any rumors from you? Uh, nothing special. Okay. Fair enough. And this is a young Dishar noble. Welcome. Oh, uh, holy shit. Eight of you. Yes. Welcome aboard. Welcome, welcome aboard. Whale come aboard, you might even say. And uh, Knights of the Lion are here, and Squires of the Lion are here, and is the king sitting here? Oh no, that's Madame Ursula and Lady uh, Bernatus. Is Madame Ursula the claimant of Ravenstern? Uh, at your service. Yes, she is the claimant of Ravenstern. This was another thing I was thinking. If I was going to go Ravenstern, because I do like Ravenstern, I was thinking instead of uh, like becoming my own independent and all that eventually, I would try and back Madame Ursula. She would be a companion of ours while we uh, supported her claim. Claimant uh, wars could be really interesting, and we might actually do a claimant campaign in the future, maybe even a Floris mod claimant campaign. I'm not sure, but uh, this time we're not going to do that. Is there anything I can do to help? Why, yes. We do need some aid occasionally. I hear you have posted a bounty. Uh, I was told you were looking for a tournament champion. Problems with rivals. Okay. Yep. So these are some interesting things. Uh, I heard you posted a bounty. Cut down as many of those despicable thieves, buffoons, and land pirating heretics, and any rogue knights too. Oh, so basically any thieves and heretics. So yeah, we can totally find this. Yes, I can hunt down your enemies. Very good. We're going to actually have to check the quest log to see exactly what kinds of enemies count. Uh, heretics rogue knight parties while achieving a rating of 3300 or more so not thieves heretics and rogue knights specifically okay we should probably be able to find some heretics that we can kill there's a lot of like 20 person heretic groups out there uh like virgin hunters and stuff like that refugees yeah no those are not the kinds of things we're out to get we are going to kill these highwaymen they won't count for the quest but we're still going to do it holy shit there's a lot of highwaymen here and those are refugees. Okay, the refugees joined on their side. But uh, we're fighting these highwaymen, so that's fine. Prepare to die. So we have 60 against their 38. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just bow them a little bit. You know what? No. Just charge. Charge them. Let's, uh, let's ride these guys down. They do have some people with lances. Is that a notorious outlaw or a Blackheart knight? It won't count for this uh, quest either way, but it would be cool if it was a Blackheart knight. You had a lance. You were going too slow, so I wasn't too worried about you. You weren't going to be able to couch lance me. But, uh, hey, Squire, go F yourself. This guy, this guy right here, that's a Blackheart knight, right? That's not a... Um, This is not a notorious outlaw. Nope, it was a rogue Blackheart Knight. Very good, and I got the kill. Lots of experience there. Actually, only 303, but still. It's experience. Experience counts. There we go, we unhorse him. Did we kill him? Oh, we killed him too. <laughs> okay. Hi. All of a sudden, my cavalry just charged into me. Very good. Uh, no enemies wounded. We took two wounds. What? did we take? No, that's them. We took no casualties. Whew. We did wound two. We wounded a brigand and a robber. We're not going to save that refugee. That was two armies of them, too. Very nice. Access the item pool. Chipped four and two-handed saber. Interesting. We can sell it for a good amount. We'll take these things to sell. We'll take the swayback saddle horse as well. We'll add it to our uh, baggage train, although we have way too many horses in our baggage train, so we're probably going to be getting rid of some of those and abandon anything else that's there and just to verify that didn't count right that did not count so yeah no any bandits do not work we have to get heretics basically or um renegade knights or whatever it is but uh, we're basically never going to find any of them i think 
So let's go to the marketplace as all of this red text is in the way and let's sell some shit so that we have room. Do I need to go buying some food yet? Um, not really, but we will buy some dried meat and some cheese. Keep the morale up. We're still going to get 3,400 dinner. Holy sh- I should have paid attention to how much uh, money they had. I wasn't even paying attention to it. What did I sell that was worth so much? Rusty coat of plates. Oh, the red plate mail harness with cape was worth a shit ton. As was the saber. Holy crap. Okay, cool. Out of curiosity, thick polished plate armor with cape. I like the heraldic stuff though, but there's no heraldic stuff that's in the 60s basically, which sucks. It sucks. It sucks a lot. Okay, so let's keep on the lookout for heretics. We're not going to find any up north here, although we might find some Ravenstern up north here. Oh, we made peace with Ravenstern. Okay, so now we're hunting heretics full time. We don't need to worry about Ravenstern anymore. Did we get anything from them? We did not get Fenbray. We did not lose anything here to them. We didn't get anything here. We didn't lose anything. So it doesn't look like we gained or lost, really. There could be prisoners that we're unaware of. But we need to get out there and find us some heretics that we can take. We will kill highwaymen, though, because uh, I am not going to leave bandits to terrorize the lands when I am a lord charged with the safety of the lands. And we are just going to charge these guys down because it's not going to matter. Look at the fog. Holy crap, look at the fog. Hi. Hi. Are you in a notorious outlaw or a knight? You look like a knight. I should be paying attention. I should definitely pay more attention to that from now on. Hi. Well, I hit you. I didn't kill you, though. I delivered 48 damage to you, though. That's my guy. This is the guy. Die, if you please. Uh, that was a rogue Blackheart Knight. That's good. My adventure got some experience. He might become a hero adventure. Continue, brigands, I will capture. The good thing about having them in the battles now is that we might be able to get some really expensive uh, armor or weapons from them that we can sell or give to one of our companions, one of our lower rate companions. Uh, so these squires, one's going to become an adventurer. Young nobles, that's another couple young adventurers. That's pretty good. Let's stick them there. Leslie's at 58%. Anson is at 100%. I don't think he's actually entering combat now, which is perfect. He should be. Our battle size is like 300, so Anson should still be entering combat. But uh, now let's continue looking for the heretics. We absolutely want him to level up as much as possible, get him all the intelligence he can, and have him, uh, uh, which my fuck it. Have him gain lots of uh, points in healing. Ebony Knight's hunting cadre. Okay, so they are a knighthood order. Rogue knight parties, they are not rogue knights. And neither are they enemies necessarily. I want to kill them because they're running from me and ebony knights are a piece of shit that we, we need to kill because we need to kill them. But uh, uh -huh, good. actually, maybe it would have been good to have the Noldor meet them. They're in a, they're in a valley, so we are going to charge them. We want to hit them when they're still in this valley. We don't want them to get on this hill before we hit them. Look at this guy's two-hander. And he hit me with it. Oh my god. I received 52 damage from him. I should have come in with a lance. Yeah, I should totally have come in with my Jatu on your lance instead. It would have had more range than his two-hander. That's why he hit me, because he had so much freaking reach. But that's okay. We're leaving ebony corpses everywhere as my adventure army goes across them. Hello, young Dashar Noble. You look very Mettenhain in your outfit. It's interesting. Are we done? We are done. Excellent. These, uh, these groups are worth a lot of good experience as well, and potentially some really good gear. Like, that's pretty good gear. Bent Siege Bolts, pretty good gear. I don't really care about these shields, though. Yeah, that could be really good gear. 
Rangers of the Clarion Call. We don't want to take on Rangers of the Clarion Call, and uh, they shouldn't hurt us anyway, in all honesty. Clarion Call should not be an enemy. They're patrolling Laria, which is cool. We're still making 5,100. That's good. Let's find us some heretics, you know, like some uh, version hunters or something that we can kill. There could be heretics in Empire Land. You generally see them up here. Adventure Company. Okay, so adventure companies are warbands that are sort of like us before we joined Sarleon. They're led by a hero adventurer or maybe just adventurers or whatever, and they're out for glory and all this stuff. They will usually attack you because they see you as a rival kind of thing. Um, what are they carrying? They're carrying brigands, a squire, uh, heretic invokers and magnuses, worshippers, heretic minions. So they're carrying a number of heretics on them. We could probably kill them to take their prisoner train, and we are faster than them. Maybe if they engage us, we will do it. Otherwise, maybe not. Enemies near Herringoth Castle must have been that group that we just spotted. Yeah, it has to be these guys. If they attack me, I will gladly fight them. Even though they have three hero adventures, I happen to have uh, five. And uh, that's actually six, and 25, 26 adventurers to back it up as well. Also, Leslie leveled. Very nice. Te tell me about your skills. That's going to be a new charisma. You still can't take a point in trade. So what else do you take? Shield, I guess. And one-handed weapon specialization. You can at least, you know, keep yourself alive in a fight if we have to go into one. Rogue Knights would be nice. Uh, or some heretics that I'm able to take. 3.1, 3.7. I am faster than them, so if I did close in on them, I could catch them. Yeah, he's just strictly running from me. He's not even turning to engage me here. I kind of want his prisoners, the heretics, in his prisoner party, because they could be pretty effective. Okay, we're going to join uh, Duke Ilfwin to, uh, to fight them. Which means I could still get some prisoners out of this, but I am not the person actually engaging them. My army, follow me. The other guy's army, the Duke's army, he can just charge right on in. Look at that, he's just sending his knights in like they don't even care. I don't want my guys to just die needlessly, because there are three hero adventures in this army, so you guys send your knights in and tank the initial shots, and I will come in and smash them in the side after that. Wow, they're far away. How far away are these guys? Adaptive battle size for days. Holy crap, they're all the way on top of this hill. Yep, they're actually right on top of the hill. Holy crap. And I am so much faster than my army. Okay, charge. You'll be coming from a good enough angle now. Shields up. As we have to run at like super slow speed to get up here. And hero adventures are pretty accurate, even from horseback, so... We have to be aware of that. The cool thing is though that they often don't have lances because they're carrying like crossbows and swords or axes or all kinds of other weapons. They often don't carry lances. Sarlian Knight was taken out by a highwayman. That's fine. That's actually the point of them. They're here to tank damage. Goodbye horse. I did 119 damage to that horse and it survived. Are you kidding? Oh bullshit. I should have reached that. Goodbye, horse. 94 more damage to it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, that was a maiden cavalry. We killed them. It was one of the last things on the map, too. Holy shit. No casualties here. He lost one Sarlian knight, but it was only wounded. I'm probably not going to get to capture anything. What is your name? I am Lord Radu, and you are Duke Elfwin. Excellent. Uh, no, I am actually going to be able to rescue some. We're going to rescue this rogue Blackheart squire. Uh, I don't want the Red Brotherhood Thief. I'll take a Warden, maybe. What do you upgrade to? Sheriffs. I don't know if I want you. For now, I will keep you, though. Um, Militia, Heretic, Magnus. This is what we want, though. This is what we're here for. The Magnus and the Worshippers. Not the Minions, although I think they become Worshippers. Just the ones that are already Cavalry. <laughs> and shit for the item pool, which doesn't, you know surprise me considering we uh, we joined a different party in that battle. So let's take our new recruits and stick them up higher.
you know what? We're sort of doing this wrong now. We should have the people that we want to level up up higher now because a lot of these won't enter battle anymore. So we want the nobles up really high so that they will always get into battle. As our party gets bigger and bigger and bigger, uh, the troops on the bottom will stop entering battles. We need to find some heretics though, for fuck's sake, find me some heretics. Where's the heretics at? All I really need is one good battle and that'll give me all the uh, rating that we need. Or a couple like groups of 15 or 20, that, that'd be perfect. Heretics, where are you? Ravenstern has declared war on the Feared's Vein, excellent. Uh, we're going to maybe try looking south a little bit into Dashar territory. The heretics come down this way. Forest outlaws, they are not what we're after, but I will hunt them down because they're forest outlaws. Actually, it looks like he's going to get them. No, he's actually going to turn back. Okay, well, I'm going to go for them then. Prepare to die. There is no such thing as a group of bandits who are too small and menial for us to kill. They are bandits. They are terrorizing somebody. There are lots of people in Pandora who, believe it or not, are not armed to the teeth like we are, and are not capable of killing freaking demons the way that my hero adventurers are. Um, and we need to protect those people. It is our responsibility. We were given this strange ebony saber so that we could cut down freaking bandits and protect the people of Pendor. And if the kings and lords of Pendor don't want to do it, we're just going to have to start our own kingdom. If they will not see to the safety of everybody here, we will just have to start our own kingdom and make sure it happens. Brigandine and war and plate with cape. Very cool. Worth a lot of money. We're going to need some food soon, but that's uh, nothing new to you guys. You're well aware of the fact that... Uh, you need a constant supply of food in order to fuel your army. Those are squires. Anson leveled up before we went into that battle, I think. And I never actually leveled him up. Which I should have. Intelligence 19, and that's going to be wound treatment to 16. Very good. And we've been doing your engineer as well, so you're our engineer, I guess. Yeah. Okay, sounds good to me. Congrats, Anson. He's starting to look good. He's at 6 uh, in all the medical skills, and he's going to be at 6 in engineering pretty soon as well. Let's find those heretics, though. Like, where the fuck are all the heretics? Every other uh, session from this one on, like up to this point, there's been heretics everywhere. We run into heretic armies by accident. Oh, you know what? That other lord got those ones. We don't need to uh, assist with that. I am happy. The lords of Pendor are doing their job. The lords of Sarleon, actually. Mysterious witches roam the countryside with an army of followers. Well, those are heretics. Unfortunately, they uh, have an army of followers. It might be a little bit tough to take. Let's uh, stop off in Mowbray Castle, though, uh, which gives us a good opportunity to end this uh, video, because we're 38 minutes in. I'll see you guys next time as we continue our hunt for heretics or rogue knights so that we can complete this first quest for the Knights of the Lion. I'll see you then.